Mountain gorillas are a subspecies of eastern gorilla. Their hair is greyer and thicker compared to their lowland cousins. Mountain gorillas are critically endangered with a survey taken in 2012 estimating that there are only 880 left. Since the subspecies was identified in 1902, they have since experienced drastic population changes in the face of war, resource exploitation and disease. 1933 prompted Western interest in the species after the release of King Kong. The movie depicted gorillas as bloodthirsty and aggressive beasts, and with a change in public perceptions and a desire for morbid novelty, there became a demand for gorilla heads and hands from Central Africa to become souvenirs for tourists. Approximately half of the global population of mountain gorillas live in the Virunga Mountains, a chain of densely vegetated volcanoes split between three countries, Rwanda, the Democratic Republic of Congo and Uganda, each of which having their own national park. The 1960s brought turmoil into the Congo-controlled Virunga National Park as civil war led to the burning and ransacking of villages surrounding the park and forcing the refugees to encroach on the gorillas' habitat which in turn resulted in gorillas migrating into even colder and more dangerous environments. This continued conflict would prevent all Congo conservation efforts for 20 years. Concurrently, the Belgian sovereignty of Rwanda was overthrown, forcing Tutsi refugees into the Rwandan side of the park, who brought with them devastating herds of cattle and the need for cleared land. The Viringa gorilla population hit an all-time low in 1985, with an annual survey finding only 258 individuals remaining. These alarming results prompted the conservation community into action and many papers were published at this time, exploring the causes of the subspecies decline and possible solutions to prevent their extinction. Since then, various animal advocacy groups have begun supporting the mountain gorillas, including the World Wildlife Fund, the Mountain Gorilla Project and the African Wildlife Fund, aiming to educate the community living near the gorillas, as well as prompting tourism in the region. The previously neglected Virunga Park in the Congo now has the most ranges per square kilometre in the world, as well as having a day patrol of rangers personally guarding the rare mountain gorillas. Tourism is now Rwanda's fourth most profitable industry, which gives the country economic interest in keeping the subspecies alive. Those mountain gorillas, habituated by humans and receiving veterinary care, as well as approach as poacher protection, experienced a 40% population increase compared to the unhabituated groups, according to a recent study. While awareness and tourism generated by these advocacy groups has done great things in the preservation effort, it has also caused some damage. The great apes are so closely related to humans that they are also very susceptible of the diseases of humans they come into contact with, particularly the common cold, chest infections and Ebola, all of which can be deadly. One Ebola outbreak between 2002 and 2003 led to the death of 95% of lowland gorillas in the Congonese Oskzela Wildlife Park. More malevolent, human, more malevolent human activities are also impacting on the mountain gorillas of the Virunga Mountains. Ongoing civil war in Congo and the Rwandan genocide in 1994 once again forced refugees with a need for food and agricultural land into the Virunga Mountains. During this tragedy, over 1 million humans were killed, as well as 22 of the rare gorilla subspecies. As recently as 2014, there have been skirmishes in the park with rebel forces, endangering both the gorillas and the rangers charged with protecting them. In line of duty, to date, 140 rangers at the Virunga Park have lost their lives, according to the WWF. Currently, hunting mountain gorillas for bushmeat is not a common exercise. Nonetheless, many gorillas are injured or killed by hunter snares set for antelopes and bush pigs. Illegal poachers also try to capture mountain gorilla babies for dealers, which can be a devast devastating effect for the endangered species, which have a low reproduction rate of sometimes four years per offspring. Furthermore, if a silverback is killed, protecting its family, the new male may kill all infants to bring the females into ostrich more rapidly. This makes mountain gorillas very vulnerable to human poaching. The biggest risk currently to mountain gorillas is habitat loss through charcoal farming. The business is generally... The business is generating over $30 million a year, according to the National Geographic magazine. In 2007, a park ranger connected with illegal charcoal farming was arrested for killing at least 10 gorillas. The current head of parks, Emmanuel de Marode, 
speculated that this was simply an attempt to remove ranger protection from the park, with the logic that if gorillas were gone, there would be nothing left to protect for the rangers and the charcoal industry would have less restriction. Another example of this is the recent oil discovery beneath Lake Edwards in the Virunga Park. As the habitat is nationally protected, lobbyist groups and park rangers have so far prevented resource exploitation in the area to protect the gorillas, but this also means the fishing communities living on the lake may not be subject to the industrial pollution. These events suggest that the presence of gorillas in the Virunga Mountain not only contribute a valuable income source to Central Africa, but also passively protect protect the environment of the humans living around them with their critically endangered status. By protecting the mountain gorillas, humans are also protecting and preserving the large community centred around them. The future of mountain gorillas seems to be improving. Education in communities and park intervention has impacted the subspecies for the better. But unforeseen events like the Ebola outbreak in 2002 can have disastrous impacts on the species if they to reoccur. The political issues surrounding Virunga have often turned the parks into war zones, causing rebel forces and refugees to clear acres of lands at a time, retracting the range of gorillas even further. It is predicted that climate change may also restrict the range in the future, according to the World Wildlife Fund, and put the dense coated mammals back further into the mountains. Thankfully, because of their value to tourism, the mountain gorillas are an asset to the countries involved, allowing them a stable protection, if not safety, in the foreseeable future.